Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Don't act like you guys don't want to hear another version of the Islander. Today's your day. (laughs) I got you. I got you covered. I found another version. I believe this is the last performance by Annette in the band Nightwish, of course. And so I'm going to give this a go with you guys. It's live in Salt Lake City. It's from 2012. I've never seen the track. I might have listened to the Islander once or twice, though. We should see. Let's see if there's magic in the air for Annette's final performance together. Let's do it! Put up your cameras, put up your old fashioned lighters, put the screens on, and give us some starlight. That's the way to do it! Thank you! Is that going to tell you it looks amazing for you? Yeah. You see that dude there? It's Mr. Hemline. Sitting on his box of weird, weird booby. try afterwards to tweak it if I can to bring it down a little so it's more listenable but it's pretty loud in my ear right now to keep interrupting it but it's funny when someone's recording on his cell phone and you hear the lady standing next to the cell phone holder better than the singer on the stage it's kind of like make your own show make it today so uh the sound quality is pretty rough but uh, i've never i never thought i'd say troy's playing the flute too loud isn't he isn't he <laughs>
performance it's just the quality of the recording was iffy you know, sound quality mostly but it was interesting to me how things have just changed now I was never a camera guy I, I never had the camera in the hand the video camera any of it shooting away when I toured we had throwaway phones and so we would just take pictures of stuff we don't need to get into on this and that's what we would kept and then uh, it was difficult to get the films developed let's just say that but i don't understand whoever took this video had such a great seat you're right in front of marco but you can see everybody on the stage you're right there why would you put your phone in front of your face to separate yourself from this great opportunity really and that that baffles me now maybe if i had been into camera and film and uh in photography I guess I'd have a different outlook on it but I think it's strange I just think it's really weird I would absorb all of it I wouldn't even think about taking my phone out so and as a reactor I mean that's what we're reacting to a lot of the reactors on YouTube I see are, are these videos that people are taking but especially with the price of tickets now and stuff suck it in for yourself don't worry about uploading it and seeing how many people download and check out your video 
I guess it's just capturing that moment. But I appreciate it for what it was. I just would have, it's just watching it. I just, it was so good. I think whoever shot this would have had a better time just sitting there with a big smile and, and loving it all. So that's my reaction to this video. <laughs> I'm going to try and take the levels down a bit so it's a little bit more listenable to you guys. And that's why if you keep hearing me talk about the sound and it still sound, and it sounds okay, it's because I was able to do it. But I'm not a like a great engineer, <laughs> so I don't know if I'll be able to. Anyway, there you go. That's my, that's my deal. So thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Thank you. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.